மூத்தேத்தாது ராங்கி தாயில் நான் மாதம் ஏன் பாச்சிப்போம் சோகா செம்பா தீதோ நம்பக்கு வந்து நீ தப்பானே தேப்பா மிகுச்சிக்கே சந்தோஷையாது கீச்சே குச்சிரு ஸோ இன் திஸ் வே ஒன்ஸ் ரூட் டீச்சர் தட் நோன் டுவெல் வித் தி குரு பத்ம சம்பாவா Uh, to which uh, that uh, one carry through the subjugation prayer from one score of heart with the full devotion and the inclination where one can receive the actual blessing ma so sirav tuma me bane dadi bad nya mo ba tuma zonzin ji jon so tinde ko al ji dunga le So, we all are somehow from beginning, let's say, lifetime, that being just wandering in the suffering of samsara because of once the five main poisons, the afflictive emotions, and then at the same time the dualistic mind that we are just kind of you know, experiencing so much of suffering in the samsara. dungar the rong lila pe wi ne kasu dungar the nda pasu ti ya mare te mena kor lege jum sadi te dungar te le tor ma to bas ne de yo te re so as we experience all this kind of suffering within this our just body in this lifetime even though there is no anyone who wish to experience such kind of you know suffering but uh, because of each and every individual their own karma that which is you know ripening so then they, they could not just avoid and one have to just purify in that way dungar dere shop to bate kuncho sum re ma to ye se ho ye mar so to be completely protected from such kind of you know suffering is that the uh, the object of refuge the triple gem you know you can to some la e g g top of the shit matter what oh collage koi chill ye jo ki ji but then this is any then ya tabula la dream but to basin do do this so Uh, the problem is that uh, in one way we could not have the full confidence into the object of refuge and besides that uh, how we got so attached to all this uh, samsaric uh, activity and wealth and because of that uh, we were just been bind into the samsara and could not really liberate nana yabo tinchi ki sonje ko to to so yare yena yo Then the gene now the gene lot of kitty to mantra then you can do good it the thing was a lot then was in do to it we must come this so in generally it is been explained that if one wish or desire it is even possible that one can attain enlightenment within a uh, within a week time but uh, that which means where one need to have completely stabilized one's mind with a kind of you know single pointed sense of you know just uh, meditation and uh, and on the other hand that when one could not do that then uh, you know just uh, it seems difficult so all the time it is important to have a very relaxed and stable mind she drubati semle to role re ma to Shilori kahan yeh maris? So, engaging into these the actual dharma practices is mainly dependent on our mind. There is no anything that uh, externally just uh, depend upon. Na chero to ki chhu ji chhu ji kari hai na yung sam tempo ji ji chhu. So. Uh, you all in a way just uh, as you engage into these uh, dharma practices it is always try to be very firm and stable mind 
So in this way, if one have a very stable mind and then a kind of sense of full devotion and the inclination and the faith and according to that, if one engage into these Dharma practices, then of course, naturally, you know, stages by stages, one can receive all this, you know, blessing within one's being. So, as you receive all these uh, teachings, then uh, of course, uh, some of you uh, that try to, you know, just have all those notes, and uh, of course, it is good, but if one doesn't engage into practice and doesn't look into it to remind oneself, then it is like uh, collecting the just bird's nest. So all these teachings, whatever it has been given, if you try to uh, just uh, uh, mingle with your body, speech, mind, you know, in all the time, if you maintain in that way, then according to that one could have all these uh, realizations and experiences. So, of course, uh, there are just uh, uh, the piles and piles of those teachings and uh, even just kind of, you know, making notes and writing down, but uh, still somehow one doesn't have, you know, time to look into it or to study. So, how much one could to understand whether it is a great deal or just little, however, it is just important to really apply into practice within one's being. So, so just being, having a kind of like a uh, big mouth and a kind of wise mouth, uh, it doesn't really benefit. What we need to tame is tame our mind, and not the just mouth. <laughs> So even we want to attain enlightenment, we should attain enlightenment through the realization of our mind, not with our mouth. So how much uh, oneself have a skillful or wise mouth that uh, not necessarily one can attain enlightenment? So, as long as one could to tame one's mind, that is somehow that is subdued and well-tamed mind, then there is the possibility one can attain, you know, enlightenment. So that is why in all aspect and all the time that uh, it is very important to watch one's body, speech, mind, and moreover that, you know, mind, that uh, uh, what it is thinking and uh, so forth, and just, you know, remind oneself to watch all the time. <laughs> So then uh, this time, uh, during our one month retreat time, that uh, all those uh, practices like uh, the common, uh, the Nguento uh, teachings and then uncommon Nguento teachings, those are anyway just, you know, completed. 
And then all those uh, that uh, teachings were given by the Campos and you have just uh, uh, properly listened and then uh, it is uh, important to just uh, apply into one's practice. These, uh, our campus are not just only names, that they are just uh, the name as a meaning and they uh, are well educated. And uh, their just uh, minds are somehow just you not know, tamed and uh, hope that there is no any afflictive emotions. So it is just fortunate that you could engage into all these Dharma practices as you have listened to these teachings, whatever it has been taught to you. So, and also it is uh, very fortunate that uh, we all be just here, that uh, even myself just, you know, come here and with all my monks and with the Campbells and then uh, we, you know, be here for the retreat and uh, engaging into Dharma practice. It is just still, you know, very fortunate time. So, however, just, you know, it is uh, very difficult to, that uh, one could to just, uh, one could to lead oneself whether within this lifetime or even the next lifetime. So, so within this world, uh, whatsoever this uh, material wealth and uh, all other conditions, not necessarily one have to be just worried about, you know, by some means, you know, it can be just uh, be, you know, completed. So, Mahoban says she much. Tarvatan to Jim Bilante Kagagilanes, a dread to us today, not the language of the so our main uh, responsibility and the most important part is that uh, just looking for the next life through which uh, we could do, do all these practices that we can be liberated and then attain complete enlightenment to benefit beings. <laughs> And within this world, whatsoever just, uh, you know, accumulations of, you know, wealth and uh, so all other, you know, kind of mundane activity is more or less, you know, accumulating lots of negativity. Mm -hmm. So, for example, like uh, even in the past, there are all these uh, great uh, bodhisattvas and uh, great uh, masters that, uh, you know, within, even within, you know, Nyingma and so forth, that uh, who are just, you know, perfected. So, even all those uh, great uh, masters, that uh, whether they are alive or even they just, you know, 
pathway in Parinirvana. Uh, however, that uh, you know, just all their activity is just you know uh, to benefit all other sentient beings, and in that way they just you know uh, lived and passed away. So there is no uh, any of them who are just uh, kind of you know collecting all sorts of material wealth. This is true. So in that way, it is very important to really uh, engage into the Dharma practice properly. So we have to, you know, plan and have the basis of this present human rebirth that where we could to, you know, just attain liberation, the ultimate liberation, and then the, you know, complete enlightenment. So, you know, like in these kind of practices, if we, you know, just think that we could do, you know, maybe in the future, maybe sometimes it is very difficult. So, most important is this present, you know, kind of form and the support. So then uh, you all that, you know, just think very carefully and properly, you know, not to have too much attachment for this present life. That's it, didn't So if we look into ourselves, uh, most of us, that uh, half of our life has already just exhausted. So then, in the future or in the next life, it is definite that we will just obtain a, a, a form. So at that time, then, uh, you know, it is important that uh, one may not have to wander, uh, wander in this, you know, cyclic existence. So, that uh, one has to engage into these uh, Dharma practices with that, you know, intention that uh, as we have, you know, our parents and that, that uh, we wish to, you know, liberate them from the suffering and lead them to, you know, just uh, liberation. And at the same time, you know, all the sentient beings, apparently sentient beings, to get rid of the suffering and lead to, you know, complete enlightenment. So if one just uh, think that uh, one could do, you know, accumulate lots of great wealth, money and uh, rank and fame, it is just somehow kind of not benefiting and it is a kind of mistake. Uh, it is also difficult to really, you know, just accomplish in that way. And even we could, you know, accomplish in certain level, but still it is uh, uh, involved so much of negativities. So it is uh, very important, you know, all the time not to forget the, you know, just triple gem and the Guru Pama Sambhava and then, you know, just doing all these uh, supplication prayers. So there is no anything to just uh, kind of like uh, boast or just to explain to anybody that, oh, I have done all these kind of, you know, Dharma practices. 
One have to think of one's own purpose and also the purpose for all other sentient beings. And because of that, one, you know, just engage into these Dharma practices, then it is meaningful. Uh, so this our just one month retreat within this there are a whole bunch of you who have been here for a long time and also that uh, you know in the future also will just you know continue all these you know practices so in all the time it is just very important to have that uh, right intention or motivation to think for the benefit and welfare of all sentient beings with the you know just uh, with great deal of you know compassion and also not feel, not falling into any kind of partiality and distinction so of course uh, each in each and every one of us we have our kind of like families and then you know like a husband and wife and children and so forth, uh, which is also important to have that affection and care and being loving. But uh, when we engage into the Dharma practices, then it is more important to think for the welfare of all sentient beings and uh, just uh, try to have that kind of you know pure motivation without any distinction other than that uh, if one get uh, too atta attached with the ones who, only ones with the you know kind of family and so forth then the practice does not become that much effective <laughs> The Buddha's Dharma teaching is just completely based on for the benefit of all sentient beings. There is no anything concentrated for self, you know, just benefit. <laughs> 